start with, we're going to start with turning the boat round because uh, I've got a bed settee to come in and it's going to be doubtful that it'll go through that door. Uh, so we've got the front door there, which is bigger. So we're going to spin the boat round so that ends on the front of the gantry. So that's first job. A minute and then I'm going to let it warm up a little bit first. If we sneak up very, very carefully, we might be able to see a rare, rare species indeed. Shh, got to keep quiet though. Don't let it know. Don't let it see our presence here. And there we have it, look. There's a rare species, a Paul Chopasaurus. All right, all right. Cutting the firewood. Right, so we're going to start building this front room now. So we're going to start with bed in. Uh, we're going to chuck a tally in, a couple of rugs down, ooh, be swish!
this place mission finally we're getting around to doing these windows um, well you know we cut them in let me just uh, zoom out of it you know we cut them in uh, and we installed them but they've only had like one temp excuse me we've only had one temporary bolt sorry start that again we've only had what two temporary screws in just to hold it in place to make sure they don't fall out um, so we're putting like this bar see the bar here that's just temporarily held up there and it goes down to there so basically we're squaring this off here so the screws have got there's a bit needs going in just here as well look so the screws have got something to properly bite into when it's actually screw the window down so that's now what I'm doing um, I've cleaned I've cut the piece of steel I've cleaned the piece of steel down and I've cleaned the steel of the side of the boat down and we're just going to stick some weld down it now and get it to stay in nice and tight and then that to be that window will be nice and tight and we'll be able to screw it up so that's what we're doing Alright, so now that's tacked, got to be careful with this because it don't take much to set this insulation alright. Uh, now that's tacked, I'm going to go outside and remove the window. Because this middle bit here looks like it's bowing out a little bit and we really need to get all that to be flush. So we'll remove the window and have a look. Right, so as suspected, if you just look at that bit just there, it's just bowing out a little bit, can you see it? So we're just going to put a clamp on here now, just so we can pull it a bit tighter before we weld it in. clamp I'm going to put it along the two edges and just pull the the steel into it before we stick some tack more tacks down here so that's what we're gonna do now ready to tack weld it that all looks good now. Yeah.
for destiny I'll take the long way proud Oh, I know what I've earned And now it's my turn Lighting the fuse, let it burn But my time is rising And you can't bring me down Can't stop me now Welded up now. It's not the easiest to see, but we can get the light in the right position. So that's the pieces in now, ready to take the window. So uh, give it a coat of red oxide. Um, and then once I've done that I'm going to uh, clean the window frame down and then uh, put some sealant on it and get it all screwed up. Cool. Alright so that's that one all red oxided up. So I'm going to let that dry now and we're going to move on to this one. So this window here, sorry it's a bit dark in here, um, so this just wants, you can even really see it really can you from there, try to shine the edge a bit, that's a light, that's some lighting from behind, no that didn't do it either. So basically, and anyway, this has got one run to do. There's uh, a piece down here that just wants putting in. Um, and then that's that one done. And like I say, then we can look at screwing the windows in good and proper. So that's what I'm doing next. So we've got these screwed in. Then I've sealed and screwed in. I'm going to put some pop rivets in them, but... I think I probably want to get them back out again when I paint them, so that'll do for now. And what was there? We sort of, well, actually, Paul, my next door neighbour, just went on a polishing mission. That's all sealed now and polished up. And I've finished red oxide in the hatch. Keep on like you're ready to see it good 
next door, give me this. It's a hang up that hangs on the rail. Got a little hole in there that you, you boys hang off. Um, I'm just gonna make some more, so. Quite simply, just gonna place it on there. shapes as well. Out with the jigsaw. about right we just want a little piece off on this inside edge a little piece off here all right so we got that shape all cut out so it's the shape of a heart look pretty, pretty. now what we're gonna do is just put a hole in the bottom of each one so it's got somewhere to put the string through for the for the boy to hang off.
them done. And then we simply push the rope through the hole. Put a knot in the end of it. Tighten the knot up, put it back, put the knot on it, there you go. Now I'm simply just going to paint these up, sand them down, paint them up, they were free, and then we'll have four and go down the boat just like that one.